Hey guys, before we start the video, I just wanted to ask you guys, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel and like the videos that I'm releasing. It greatly helps the channel grow and I really appreciate it. Thanks. So today, I'm going to be releasing a couple of videos. I'm going to put a link in the description to the other ones, just so you can go click on those real quickly after this video. But in this video, I'm going to be going over... Uh, not really so much gameplay or a tutorial or anything. I'll do an art tutorial in our video, but uh, I just wanted to go over uh, the battlefield that you may not realize you're already fighting on when playing any game or just a life in life in general, and that's the mental battlefield. So what I mean by your mental battlefield is basically how you're keeping up mentally and. If you're having a bad day, I guess is the general uh, topic we're going to be striking at here. Because having a bad day can affect everything, especially in video games. When people get quote-unquote triggered at something. So today, that's just what we're going to be going over and basically how to try and avoid it best you can. A lot of people think it's all about getting the big plays, getting those headshots, getting everything, performing well in the game overall, I guess is their idea of, like, I don't know, feeling good about the game. But if you're doing well, but you, it doesn't feel good, like you had several bad matches, and then suddenly you have a really good one, and that feels amazing, but as soon as you mess up one more time, that entire match, you forget all the good things about that match. Now, that's the point where you need to stop playing for a bit, because if you keep playing from that point forward, you're going to do two things. You're going to burn yourself off from Destiny, and you're going to get a bit depressed, honestly, because you're going to only remember the bad things. You might remember the one highlight of that game, but... Let me tell you, the majority of your games that you're going to remember if you keep playing from that point on and they keep ending up the same way is you're going to remember that they fucking sucked. So you need to just recollect yourself and go back into the game at a later point in time. Take the time to figure out what you need to figure out. Calm down. Go read a book. Go do a jog. I would jog for 30 minutes. Go bike for 30 minutes. Do some kind of exercise just get your mind off of it honestly so that's what I would do uh, maybe this would help you continue to play and just enjoy your time better personally I I don't think anyone likes getting killed in crucible or just getting completely destroyed but if you're having that bad day and it's because you know it's your fault or you're, yeah, generally, if you know it's your fault that you're not playing well and you're just getting stressed about it, go take a break. You need a break. Now, assuming you've taken this said break that I highly advise, you can come back to the game with a fresh mind and a fresh perspective on what you can do. I honestly have to take my own advice sometimes because sometimes I just, it's very rare instance but today was one of them i rage quit and it was really embarrassing i didn't like it i didn't like rage quitting i didn't like stopping playing the game i would have had a much better time if i had just controllably stopped playing the game realized okay let's just go take a break take my mind off it and come back when i'm ready when i came back i still wasn't ready because of the way i had left all in all honesty i hadn't had that self-reflection so the mental battlefield war that is constantly going on, especially when you're in a PvP-oriented game or oriented game type, as the Crucible is, it is Destiny's PvP arena, you need to take that step to realize, okay, one, it's just a game, two, I want to do good at this game, and if I want to do good, I need to be the best I can be. If you want to be the best you could ever possibly be, you need to forget everything that was bad so remember what was good remember what was bad for the lessons not for the experience is the key point on that one thank you guys so much for watching uh, i'm gonna have some other videos in the link uh it's with some links in the description i hope you guys like to watch those as well uh please like and subscribe again thank you guys thank you guys so much for uh, watching my videos uh see you guys next time